राइट गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू द लाइव टूडे एंड आई होप आई हैव रिटन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन वॉट द लाइव इज अबाउट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट रूल नंबर नाइनटीन द रीजन बींग आई गॉट अ लॉट ऑफ डी एम्स एंड आई थॉट इट्स अ क्विक लाइव इट्स बीन अ वाइल सिंस वी हैव बीन ऑन लाइव वी हैव इंटरेक्टेड विद यू गाइज वन ऑन वन सो आई थिंक इट कैन बी अ गुड आइस ब्रेकर आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग स्पैन ऑफ टाइम हाई कैप रैव हाउ आर यू so sarthak divedi manish welcome everyone to the live today aaj ke live mein aap logo ka bahut bahut swagat hai aur aaj ka live topic hai rules of the road rule number 19 very important from the point of view just visa vis with regard to your orals and also overall it's always a testing rule when it comes to your knowledge of rules of the road most of the masters would like to take a you know would like to have a go with you one on one on rule number 19 krk ne bahut achhi baat likhi hai is bacche ka comment pin kar dete hain so now what is rule number 19 just a little background and then we'll start with the official life rule number 19 basically now you guys as you guys know that unlike road and vehicles your four wheelers or two wheelers ship doesn't have a brake I mean, like it has a way of stopping, but doesn't have a brake per se, as compared to your two wheelers or as compared to your four wheelers, where you can just push the pedal down and the car will ultimately come to a halt or standstill. Now, back in the days, now with the ever changing and evolving technology, we have got radars, military radars, which can perhaps see or like overview as many as like thousands of miles apart, and they can shoot. a missile from this end of the world to the other end of the world with like pinpoint accuracy within the accuracy of centimeters or meters here and there but back in the days when it comes to merchant vessels we had very primitive radars which perhaps they were not able to plot or track the uh, targets only thing which used to come on the screen used to be a blip and back in those days people used to use this china graph pencils and they used to actually manually plot the target and then go about plot take plotting your uh woa triangle as famously it is known as the woa triangle now the present days radars are very sophisticated your arpa basically is going to all you need to do is to just identify the target press the button select and it's going to calculate everything for you how quick the target is moving how far the target is the range of the target and what will be the nearest range at which the target is going to pass you which we call as cpa okay I hope CPA का फुल फॉर्म सबको पता होगा क्लोजेस्ट पॉइंट ऑफ अप्रोच दैट मीन्स इफ अ वेसल इज गोइंग टू पास बाई मी हाउ क्लोज इट्स गोइंग टू बी एट अ पॉइंट द क्लोजेस्ट पॉइंट ऑफ अप्रोच इज नोन एज सी पी ए एंड देन ऑल्सो द टाइम टू सी पी दैट हाउ मच टाइम आई हैव नाउ द बेसिक रूल विच यू मस्ट नो वेन वी हैव मल्टीपल टारगेट्स अराउंड इज टू सेग्रीगेट दैम बेसिस टू थिंग्स आई वुड से मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज टी सी पी ए बिकॉज दैट डिटरमाइंस हाउ मच टाइम आई हैव to take the action even in realistic uh, life scenario even when i have got multiple targets multiple uh, fishing boats the one which has got less cpa should i didn't should take my attention first provided and given and assuming the fact that there is a risk of collision rules of the road are applied and applicable only when you have risk of collision if there is no risk of collision ror will not be applicable on in your situation say like for example if a vessel is passing well clear of me say like 10 20 miles there is no risk of collision but if there is a risk of collision you have got multiple targets then tcpa should determine other than other circumstance uh, other bits and pieces which i'm not going to get into but keeping it simple the tcpa and the cpa determines your course of action and the cpa is concerning then definitely pay attention to you know, tcp reason being take each target one by one you cannot take one single action in a real life situation where you have got multiple targets which can resolve situation with everyone but your action should be such that it should result in resolution of situation and passing at safe cpa from majority of the vessels now basically what actions can we take on a ship either we can go left or we can go right or we can use the engines to reduce the speed or to stop the ship or perhaps use of Pro, uh, stern propulsion to completely stop the ship quickly and even to change the direction of propulsion that's like turning your course at around 180 degrees at 180 degrees is what stern is going to be so our pass bahut limited options hote hain the options of taking an action is 
तो इन चार ऑप्शन में ऐसा क्या गलती हो जाती है कि वी स्टिल एंड अप कोलाइडिंग विद द अदर शिप्स वॉट गोज रॉन्ग इन सर्ट लाइक इमेजिन लाइफ में आपको मेजोरिटी ऑफ द टाइम एज पर ऑल्सो रूल ऑफ द रोड इन अ गिवन सिचुएशन इफ अ रिस्क ऑफ कोलिजन एक्जिस्ट देन ऑल्ट्रेशन ऑफ कोर्स इज द मोस्ट इफेक्टिव वे आप बोलते ना अगर मुसीबत अपनी तरफ आ रही हो तो उसके रास्ते से हट जाओ सो so, याद रखिए ऑल्ट्रेशन ऑफ कोर्स इज द इजिएस्ट वे टू रिजोल्व दिचुएशन देन देर आर दैक्टर्स सी रूम साइज ऑफ योर वेसल प्रोपर प्रोपोजन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक एक्सेट्रा बट अगर आप एक्शन में ऑल्ट्रेशन कर रहे हैं तो दैट शुड ना वॉट इज सो डिफिकल्ट अबाउट दिस दैट वी अबाउट ओनली फोर ऑप्शन इधर गो पोर्ट और स्टाउट इनफैक्ट देर आर ओनली टू ऑप्शन इधर ऑल्टरिंग द कोर्स और स्पीड सो वॉट हैपन्स एंड वॉट गो रॉन्ग और परेप्स वॉट इज द रीजन दैट वी स्टिल एंड अप इन अचुएशन विच इज मैसी मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स पर से द रीजन इज लैक ऑफ सिचुएशनल अवेयरनेस आपने एक टिपिकल आदत देखी होगी और ये मैंने भी करा है आई एम गिल्टी पार्टी टू इट दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स वेन वी एक्वायर अ टारगेट और वेन वी सी अ टारगेट इधर विजुअली ऑन अ गुड गुड विजिबिलिटी डे और वी साइड द टारगेट ऑन द रेडार एट एट एक्सटेंडेड रेंज आई वुड से फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल ट्वेंटी माइल्स और से लाइक एटीन माइल्स वॉट वी डू यूजली वी गो एंड वी प्लॉट दैट टारगेट एंड देन आफ्टर टू टू थ्री मिनट्स द आपा स्टार्ट टू गिव यू सर्टन अमाउंट ऑफ नंबर्स द नंबर्स वी जस्ट टॉक अबाउट द रेंज सी पी ए टी सी पी ए एंड द स्पीड ओवर ग्राउंड ऑफ दैट वेसल सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ लेकिन अट्ठारह माइल पर हम लोग क्या करते हैं स्पेशली इमेजिन दर इज वन वेसल कमिंग डाउन विद रिस्क ऑफ कोलिजन द सी पी ए इज अराउंड से लाइक पॉइंट टू पॉइंट थ्री एंड शी इज जस्ट राइट अड ऑफ यू और मे बी जस्ट फाइन ऑन योर स्टाबोर्ड बॉ हम लोग क्या करते हैं ओके प्लॉट द टारगेट एंड देन वी बिकम द सुपर मैन विल स्टार्ट टू मॉनिटर द टारगेट अभी तो अट्ठारह माइल है चलो दो द वेसल इज एट एटीन माइल्स बट वी आर स्टिल दैट थिंग इज प्लेंग इन आर माइंड सो वॉट वी विल डू टिपिकल मेंटेलिटी इवन इफ देर इज अ कैप्टन ऑन बोर्ड और द कैप्टन इज मनोवरिंग आप जाएंगे चाय बना लेंगे फटाफट आपको बताए दिचुएशन इज बिल्डिंग अपन यू माइट गेट एंगेज फॉर ट्वेंटी थर्टी मिनट्स वाइल यू आर मेकिंग द टी दो यू नो शी इज एन एटीन माइल्स शी इज क्वाइट फार ऑफ यू आर स्टिल कंसर्न इट्स प्लेंग इन बैक ऑफ योर माइंड Uh, अरे कितना हो गया सीपीए अच्छा दिख रहा है ना यू कैन साइड द टारगेट राइट बिकॉज इट्स प्लेइंग इन योर माइंड नाउ द टारगेट एज यू कम्स टू अराउंड ट्वेल्व माइल्स नाउ यू नो शी इज एट ट्वेल्व माइल्स शी इज स्टिल मेंटेनिंग अ सीपी ऑफ अराउंड पॉइंट वन देर इज अ क्लोज क्वार्टर सिचुएशन बट आर वी गोइंग टू डू एनी थिंग नो यू स्टिल नॉट डू वॉट इज स्टॉपिंग यू गॉड नोज वॉट एंड कॉन्स्टेंटली यूल बी आस्किंग द लुकआउट कितना सीपी हो गया हाउ मच इज द सीपीए अच्छा देखते रहना जिस कीप रिपोर्टिंग टू मी Let me know when she comes to ten miles. Okay, let me know when she comes to eight miles. All our action in such case is on a fair weather condition. Yani, agar maine ghumaya, to ghum jayega, or roka to ruk jayega. That means if I alter, she will alter. We have not taken anything into account. What if she does not? What if my steering gear fails? What if the other person, because you don't know his competency and his understanding of the rules, why not alter early? Maybe only. If you alter a little early in this circumstance, say like at a range of around ten, eleven miles, just even by ten degrees, though the risk of a collision has not even started to build up, you have already resolved the situation. And if the CPA comes in that situation to around one and a half, two miles in compliance of your company policy in open sea, for example, most of the companies they say minimum two miles, one and a half miles, then there is no risk of collision. You have resolved the situation even before the risk of collision started to build up. So why do you have to wait? but majority of us will allow to come to a band of 6 miles now 6 miles if you are doing 12 knots is half an hour if both are moving towards each other that's only 15 minutes anything less than that is critical handful of minutes so remember guys early action and rather than thinking about that vessel all the time and one thing i'll recommend you which you should never do is something which is Fine on your starboard bow and are just of going to चलो पोर्ट करके क्लियर ही कर लेते हैं नेवर गो टू स्टारबोर्ड यू गॉट प्लेंटी सी रूम वॉट इज स्टॉपिंग यू नथिंग ऑल यू नीड टू डू इज टू टर्न दैट डायल अराउंड एंड इट्स ओके सो फार एज देर इज प्लेंटी ऑफ सी रूम डू नॉट बी अ लकीर का फकीर बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ अस दैट कोस्ट लाइन अट्रैक्ट अस कॉन डेविएट मैन आई कैनॉट गो अवे फ्रॉम फक शिड आम अवे फ्रॉम द कोस्ट लाइन वॉट इज गोइंग टू अपन द कैप्टन माइट कम अपन द ब्रिज एंड यू लास्ट ए वाई आर यू सो ऑफ कोर्स So there was a vessel passing fine on my starboard bow. I altered course to starboard. How much? Fifteen, twenty degrees until the situation resolves in compliance with your company CPA pro- procedure. That's it. That's all you require. Why to take that burden? Nikla, nahi nikla. Now coming back to rule number nineteen. As we all know, 
रूल्स आर डिवाइडेड इन थ्री सेक्शन गाइज सेक्शन वन विच इज इन एनी कंडीशन ऑफ विजिबिलिटी यानी उस सेक्शन के जो रूल्स हैं जहाज चलाने के दे विल बी एप्लीकेबल इन एनी कंडीशन ऑफ विजिबिलिटी चाहे जहाज दिखे ना दिखे पास से दिखे दूर से दिखे उसका भोपू सुनाई दे एनीथिंग डज नॉट मैटर रूल इन सेक्शन वन इज गोइंग टू बी एप्लीकेबल इन एनी कंडीशन ऑफ विजिबिलिटी विच इज फ्रॉम रूल नंबर फोर टिल रूल नंबर टेन वॉट आर दो रूल्स वेल वी ऑल नो प्राइमरी लुकआउट से स्पीड एक्शन इन केस ऑफ कोलिजन योर नैरो चैनल योर टी एस एस इफ आई एम नॉट मिसिंग आउट ऑन एनी थिंग एंड या आई थिंक दैट्स प्रिटी मच ऑल द एक्शन एंड से स्पीड या वी हैव कवर्ड एवरीथिंग सो दिस इज सेक्शन वन सेक्शन टू इज इन साइट ऑफ इच अदर दैट मीन्स वेन यू कैन सी इच अदर विजुअली नॉट बाई रेडार ऑन विजुअली विजुअल साइटिंग इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर एनीथिंग विच इज इन रूल सेक्शन टू सेक्शन टू इज फ्रॉम रूल नंबर इलेवन टिल रूल नंबर 18. Now, most important thing about rule number 19 and why we find rule number 19 so difficult is that when we are giving our answers, we forget the fact that rule number 19 is applicable even in all rules from section one are still applicable under even when rule 19 under section three is applicable. That means if I put you in a TSS, the TSS rule plus rule number 19, दोनों का mixture बनके आपका answer आना चाहिए. Now coming to rule number nineteen, it's very very easy. We will di we will dissect the rule point by point. Only five points are there, so there is no reason why you should why you should guys should worry about rule number nineteen. सबसे easy rule है, but remember guys, the only way you can learn a rule is by reading it word by word. Most of us, how do we read a rule and how do we prepare reading a rule or prepare for R O R? Um, this rule, uh, no, okay, uh, okay, every vessel, okay, come to point D, okay, don't order to port, don't order to starboard, okay, ठीक है. Now what we have done is we have missed everything what was there in A B C D A B C and we have straight away come to D because that what that's what talks about primarily about action. The problem is the rule section A B C and E they have a lot of DNA to the rule and bypassing them means you will only be able to answer few situations which are well within your understanding. Anything outside that you are going to get confused. either you are not going to answer it or you are going to answer it incorrectly now let's start with section a of rule number 19 what it says first of all this rule applies in restricted visibility not poor visibility not bad visibility not almost good or rarely poor or any other word the word is restricted yani kam okay restricted visibility is when the this rule number 19 is applicable now what does part 1 says that this rule applies to vessel not in sight of one another when navigating in now the most important part is when navigating in or near an area of restricted visibility you see this is the most important line that this rule is applicable when the vessel is not in sight of each other that means we can't see each other visually and when we are navigating in and around the area yani either we are in that area where restricted visibility prevails or we are around that area that means i can be out or approaching a fog bank whereas in the other vessel is already in that fog bank either of the situation neither i can see the other vessel nor he can see me so because he is already in the fog bank so you must remember what does it means when it says in and around the area of restricted visibility that is that is what it means that even if you are around that area you have to assume that you are in restricted visibility and act accordingly so that's that's what the rule means that this vessel this this rule applies to vessel not in sight of each other when navigating either in restricted visibility or of course achanak se to ghus ke kood nahi jaoge restricted visibility mein dheere dheere approach karoge visibility kam hogi kam hogi fir bilkul kam ho jayegi so applies to vessels in and around that area okay because remember if you can't see me i can't see you this it's the line of sight aap mujhe nahi dekh sakte hain aap mujhe dekh sakte hain so remember that so agar background aisa hai jaisa mera maine kar rakha hai blur restricted visibility ye background bhi bahut soch ke dala hai aaj because restricted visibility ki baat ho rahi hai so if you are even in and around this kind of an area jahan visibility restricted hai comply with rule number 19 okay now coming to part b every vessel shall proceed at a safe speed now you see if we haven't read rule number 6 safe speed hame kuch pata hi nahi lagega ki rule bol kya raha hai so it's very important to pay attention to that vessel must proceed at a safe speed 
adapted to the prevailing circumstances and condition now why is he talking about safe speed separately we have already talk, spoken about safe speed in rule number 6 why does it be why why the rule wants to talk about safe speed again now remember guys safe speed like how how fast you can drive on a broad day sunlight on a six lane expressway as compared to driving the car in a traffic on a good broad broad sunlight sun uh, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a on a good day with a good visibility the speed will vary there is no given number to it so that's why they specifically want to have your attention that though you may be maneuvering at a safe speed when the visibility was good please be reminded that as you are approaching the restricted visibility the same speed which was okay just a couple of minutes before may not be good this is specifically applicable when you guys are transiting english channel day sunlight good visibility you are maneuvering at 10 knots perfect your engines are stand by nonetheless good but now restricted visibility you cannot see you cannot judge a situation much earlier than you were able like you were able to do before to kya hona chahiye aapki speed kam hona chahiye why reason being if you are not able to stop the vessel in time what's the whole point of even keeping the engine stand by so even though you were maneuvering at safe speed before please be reminded again that now because of restricted visibility your safe speed might have changed and you might have to reduce it even further and in very rare circumstances might even have to increase but that's very rare we'll not get into that or now aap log confuse ho jayenge okay now comes the second most important part every vessel shall proceed at a safe speed adapted to the prevailing circumstances and conditions of restricted visibility we have discussed it now a power driven vessel now remember guys rules of the road is very specific now when we read like baba 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 how we will read a vessel shall keep her engines for no the word is not vessel if only power driven vessel the word is a power driven vessel so if your vessel is nuc in restricted visibility anyways she is exempted from the rule she will not be maneuvering at safe speed you must remember if a vessel is ram remember they have not used they have not used the term vessel they have used the term power driven vessel so if you are a ram it's okay if you are not complying if you are a fishing vessel it's okay if you are not complying other rules will come into the picture which might tell you to reduce or to increase but this rule tells uses the word specifically a power driven vessel so read that's why i told you read each word every word you will see will change the meaning of the rule so this is applicable specifically to power driven vessel so a power driven vessel shall have our engines ready for immediate maneuver okay but isse pehle line mein kya bola tha every vessel shall it proceed at safe speed that means even if you are a ram even if you are a fishing vessel or you are a, uh, a towing vessel or you are a, a, a trawler or uh, constrained by draft does not matter every vessel shall proceed at safe speed in restricted visibility but only a power driven vessel is required to have engines on standby so if you are a fishing vessel and you are maneuvering at safe speed it's not a requirement for you to keep your engine stand by you may for good practice of seamanship now usme fir kafi sare rule aa jayenge but remember keeping the engine stand by is only applicable to power driven vessel and that's why time and again i emphasize on the fact that read each rule each rule word by word so recapping quickly that every vessel so whether you are a fishing vessel so if you if you are able to identify a vessel uh, through the sound signals of course you will not be able to see them visually you can expect that they are maneuvering at safe speed but are they having their engines on standby is a wrong assumption because only a power driven vessel is expected to keep her engines ready for immediate maneuver ready for immediate maneuver means stand by you can say those stand by is not a legal language but that's what we use so your engine should be available now whether you want to call it stand by whether you want to call it engines are ready whatever your engine should be able you should be should be available for maneuver and of course if you are maneuvering at sea rpm it's not available for maneuver it can take quite a lot of time before the engines rpm depending what rpm you are doing what's the temperature etc etc before your engines are ready for immediate maneuver so immediate maneuver means in shipy language that it should be stand by engines you should be able to use the stick any time you want to use either coming to stop i'll not use the word stern why i'll come back to it later so every vessel will proceed at safe speed but only a power driven vessel is expected to maintain her engines ready for immediate maneuver remember the word guys only a power driven vessel so if in case you identify fishing vessel ram 
any vessel other than power driven vessel you can expect them to maneuver at safe speed but you can't expect them to uh have their engines ready for immediate maneuver now coming to the part c every vessel shall have due regard to the prevailing circumstances and conditions of restricted visibility when complying complying with the rules of section 1 of this part now this is very very critical now say like a surveyor gives you an example that you are in tss traffic separation scheme and there is a restricted visibility the action which you are going to take will be taken bearing in mind that this rule is applicable plus rule which is applicable specifically for rule number 10 is also applicable on you rule number 10 says that any vessel which is involved in laying picking servicing of uh, cable or if they are involved in uh, servicing of a navigational mark and their ram vessel then they are exempted for from rule 10 and also if this rule is applied then you will remember guys in rule number 19 every vessel is supposed to take action the ram is supposed to take action and you are supposed to take action so even the ram will bear in mind that though under usual circumstances i could have been exempted from tss but i am not exempted from rule number 19 but remember it also says that the vessel is restricted in her ability to maneuver and may not be able to comply with the rules of this part so always remember section 1 rules will still be applicable to you when you are maneuvering it as, as per rule number 19 okay now this is the part d is the most important part i'll give you some more examples where i'll overlap section 1 with section 19 to explain it better to you but we'll come back in the end now a vessel which detects by radar alone okay key word is radar alone so you need to have radar now i practically all the ships have radar but the rules were not written today it was written decades before so a vessel which detects by radar alone the presence of another vessel now guys we are not talking about a situation where the visibility is good and you have just sighted the target 30 miles in advance we are talking about when you are in and around restricted visibility and you are detecting the other targets by radar alone presence of another vessel shall determine if a close quarter situation is developing and or risk of collision exists close quarter situation is developing it means you you want to detect the targets as early as possible and start tracking them as quickly as possible so that you can determine if the risk of collision exists or the close quarter situation is developing provided that when such a situation consist of alteration of course so far as possible following should be avoided now the key word here is if so she shall take avoiding action in ample time provided that now first of all the most important word is ample time so it is very important that you start plotting and learning about the targets with having sufficient time provided that when such action consist alteration of course means alteration of course is involved so far as possible so far as possible following should be avoided it does not say cannot should not will not it says avoided yani avoid karna chahiye but if you have good enough of reasons and if you think you can explain it then you can perhaps go in contravention of contravening these rules but i'll strictly advise you not to do that because you need to be a lawyer and you need to have i would say knowing these rules like on top of your mind so my suggestion is that though the word is avoided the best practice is and a good practice to see manship is comply with rules until unless you have got urgency and emergency where you cannot and you got obvious reasons for the safety of the vessel or the crew not to comply so the word is but anyways the word is avoided okay now the what is the action an alteration of course to port for a vessel forward of the beam other than for a vessel being overtaken now the key words here though there are no key words but if i have to sum up the whole thing an alteration of course to port yani alteration of course port mein jaane ke liye for a vessel forward of the beam a beam kya hai hamari maan lijiye ye aapka ship hai 90 degrees jahaz ki beam ye 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 beam ho gaya 90 degree here and 90 degree here okay so if a vessel or a vessel forward of the beam yani the entire area this entire area which is forward of my beam this this 180 degree section 
forward of the beam a vessel shall avoid altering course to port for a vessel forward of the beam yani in case i have any vessel which is forward of my beam i should avoid altering course to port chahe wo jahaz yahan ho chahe wo yahan ho chahe mere samne ho i should avoid altering course to port that is one so any vessel which is forward of my beam remember the word forward of the beam not a beam not above the beam the word a beam is not uh, included the word is forward of the beam that means it has to be 89.9 if it becomes or 89.99 because 90 is a beam so anything which is forward of my beam i should not alter course to port to agar aapko agar aap jahaz aisa dekh rahe hain ye aap aise hath kar lijiye 90 degree ho gaye to agar is section mein kuch bhi hai so you should not alter course to port except for vessel being overtaken yani अगर मैं किसी जहाज को ओवरटेक कर रहा हूं दैट मीन्स देर दिस इज माई वेसल देर इज वन वेसल अहेड ऑफ मी एंड आई एम डूइंग मोर स्पीड इफ माई स्पीड इज मोर देन द वेसल अहेड ऑफ मी एंड आई एम गोइंग टू ओवरटेक डज नॉट मैटर वेदर वेदर शी इज फाइन ऑन पोर्ट फाइन ऑन स्टार बोर्ड आई हैव द लिबर्टी एंड ऑप्शन ऑफ गोइंग टू पोर्ट एंड कैन यू जस्टिफाई दिस यस हाउ विल कम बैक टू इट लेटर दैट वाई इवन ऑल्ट्रेशन ऑफ पोस्ट कैन बी जस्टिफाइड even to your examiner how we will break that down for that we need to first discuss rule number uh, part d uh, and section 2 then we'll come back to it so remember guys this entire section 180 degrees of ka hai anything forward of it you should not alter course to port except for vessel being overtaken so in case you are overtaking any vessel you can consider going to port and your answer will still be correct and i'll explain you why and how you will explain it to the examiner now part 2 says an alteration of course towards a vessel toward yani jahaz ki taraf towards a vessel a beam or above the beam it does not say port it does not say starboard rule 1 mein humne dekha tha the word port was used for vessel avoid karne ke liye for vessel forward of the beam except for vessel being overtaken but the part 2 says an alteration of course towards a vessel a beam or above the beam so that means if this is your vessel this is forward and this is stern then anything in this area 90 degrees yani if it is 90.1 90 anything 90 or more than 90 all the way till here you should not alter course towards this vessel so if you have this vessel right abeam you should not be altering course towards this vessel if you have a vessel here on your starboard quarter you should not be altering course so what is the option going to port so that means when there is a vessel abeam or above the beam i have an option either to port or to starboard the option is open but where i will go it depends where the vessel is relative to me if the vessel is here on my port quarter i cannot alter for a vessel above my beam towards the vessel so i'll go to starboard if i have a vessel here i'll go to port easy if i so jis taraf jahaz hai us taraf nahi ja sakta so the moment you hear the word above the beam or abeam automatically that very time you must cut down the option of going in the same direction bilkul seedha sa rule hai ye jahaz yahan hai main idhar jaunga ye idhar hai main ulta bhag jaunga but what happens if she is right stern of you and if you are doing more speed well if you are doing more speed there is no risk of collision you are going to disappear my friend so in case you are doing more speed and somebody is right stern of you you can there is no, no no need for you to take any action but what if she is doing more speed and she is right stern of you what do you think she is going to do what do you think she is going to do she is right stern of you well the chances are more often than not because part 1 says avoid alteration of course other than vessel being overtaken there are high chances that she will go to starboard so your preferred answer can be either of the two bold alteration of course to starboard or bold alteration of course to port but if i am being fixed in a situation jahan mere se server puch raha hai ki bhai kahan jayega port ya starboard ek cheez de then the chances that because i am forward of the beam and the rule says avoid altering course to port other than vessel being overtaken she is open to go either to port or to starboard but chances just by the logic and good seamanship practices that he will avoid going to port she will try and go to starboard so i logically go to port now in the other situation where i am going to overtake this vessel i am stern of her now i will explain you when can you go to port in situation when you are overtaking and where it is logical to go to port and you are overtaking remember guys the word is i am overtaking the vessel and when i can go to port while overtaking with a proving that i am in absolute compliance with the rule now first kijiye ye aap hai 
ये जहाज आपके आगे जा रहा है आप इसके पोर्ट क्वार्टर में यू आर इन द पोर्ट क्वार्टर ऑफ द वेसल यू आर गोइंग टू ओवरटेक दिस वेसल यू आर गोइंग टू ओवरटेक यू आर डूइंग मोर स्पीड नाउ वट डज द रूल सेज फॉर दिस वेसल अवॉइड ऑल्ट्रेशन ऑफ कोर्स फॉर एनी वेसल टू वर्ड्स for 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 a vessel beam or above the beam towards the vessel so can he go to port no this vessel will not go to port because he will not be in compliance with d part 2 can he go to port no he is not supposed to alter course towards a vessel which is beam or above the beam where is he going to go starboard where am i supposed to go in that case port situation resolved chapter close in this condition feel free to say i will take a bold alteration of course to port and this is how you will justify and break down your answer if if i say now but but why have you gone to port it, it is written avoid going to port yes it is given that it avoid uh, or tend to port but other than vessel being overtaken now again you are in the port quarter she will not alter course to port she will go to starboard by the rule it says you cannot alter to port uh she is not supposed to alter towards you she is so, supposed to alter away from you so obviously your room is open and you should go to starboard altering course to starboard means you are running with the the situation can be resolved but it is going to take very long time to resolve the situation that's the difference now coming to the situation if i turn it now you are again overtaking the vessel she is on your port side okay you are on a starboard quarter you are doing more speed than her you are this you are doing 30 knots she is doing maybe 10 knots you are going to overtake her does the rule stops you from going to port in case the vessel is going to be overtaken no but think about logically again what is this vessel going to do by rule uh, d rule 19 part d section 2 you are above her beam is she going to alter course towards you no she is going to alter course to port why because she is not supposed to alter course towards the vessel a beam or above the beam where is she going to go port should you alter course to port do you are allowed no can you alter yes but is it the wisest action and is it going to resolve the situation early no where are you supposed to go starboard so the only time you will think about altering course to port for an examination point of view is when the surveyor says you are here there is a vessel starboard uh, ahead of you starboard bow you are going to overtake her what is your answer this is the only situation where you can explain altering course to port with the logics without getting into trouble anything else you have tough time for a vessel forward of the beam if she is going coming towards you you cannot alter course to port you have to go to starboard if she is here coming towards you can you alter course to port no you cannot why because the condition is you should be overtaking and this is the only logical explanation and the easiest explanation that i am in port quarter can she come to port no she will be going to starboard where i should go port can i come 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 to starboard yes but is it going to resolve the situation the most easiest way and the earliest way definitely not again I am going to overtake starboard quarter. Should I go to port? Can I go to port? Yes. But should I go to port? No. Why? What is she going to do? This. What am I going to do? This. Plain, easy, simple. Any situation which is above beam and above the beam, आँख बंद करके उल्टी साइड में घूम जाओ. Because ये उल्टी साइड में जाएगा. ठीक है? And remember, <laughs> अगर surveyor बोलता है that she is doing more speed, she is ahead of you. What action you are going to take? Nothing. I am going to observe him. Until she is past and clear, why? Because there is no risk of collision. She is doing more speed. आगे निकल गया है. ये question सबसे ज़्यादा पूछा जाता है कि आप इस जहाज़ पे ये आपसे ज़्यादा speed कर रहा है. आप क्या action लेंगे? भाई मैं कुछ नहीं लूँगा. आप इस ship पे आप ज़्यादा speed कर रहे हैं. इससे क्या action लेंगे? Don't say I will alter course to port. Nothing. I am doing more speed. So ये थोड़ा trick question है. इस कमेंट से ध्यान रखना. People trick you. Now coming to the last part, and that's where I will give you an explanation which you must not have heard before about, especially about section E of rule number nineteen. और ऑफ कोर्स ये मैंने खुद ने डिसाइवर नहीं करा था मुझे खुद पढ़ाया गया था एक्सेप्ट वेर इट हैज बीन डिटरमाइंड दट अ रिस्क ऑफ कोलिजन डज नॉट एक्सेप्ट एक्जिस्ट यानी एक्सेप्ट वेर यू सर्टेन दैट देर इज नो रिस्क ऑफ कोलिजन एंड आई टोल्ड यू रूल्स ऑफ द रोड आर एप्लीकेबल ओनली वेन द रिस्क ऑफ कोलिजन एक्जिस्ट सो एक्सेप्ट वेर इट हैज बीन डिटरमाइंड दट द रिस्क ऑफ कोलिजन डज नॉट एक्जिस्ट एवरी वेसल शेल हियर एपरेंटली नाउ रिमेंबर गाइज ये रूल तब लिखे गए थे जब आपके रेडार्स किसी शिप पे थे किसी पे नहीं थे कैसे थे सिर्फ एक्ो आती थी सो so, थोड़ा पुराने हो गए और लीगल लैंग्वेज में लिखे हुए हैं सो एवरी वेसल सो डोंट थिंक अरे सब पे तो रेडार होता है फिर लिखने का क्या जरूरत है रिमेंबर द टाइम वेन दे वो रिटर्न एवरी वेसल शेल हियर एपरेंटली फॉरवर्ड ऑफ अ बीम द फॉग सिग्नल ऑफ अनदर वेसल फॉरवर्ड ऑफ द बीम सो इफ दिस इज माई वेसल एंड दिस इज माई बीम इफ आई हियर अ फॉग सिग्नल एनी वेयर फॉरवर्ड ऑफ द बीम 
though identifying the direction practically is difficult but if it is a certain i'm sure that i can hear the fog signal forward of the beam what am i supposed to do forward of the of a beam the fog signal of another vessel or which cannot avoid a close quarter situation with another vessel forward of a beam so in situation where i cannot avoid a close quarter situation the vessel forward of my beam or if i ascertain that i am able to hear the sound signal of a vessel forward of my beam except where it has been determined that a risk of collision does not exist every vessel which hears apparently forward of a beam the fog signal of another vessel yeah, that means if i hear a fog signal forward of my beam or which cannot avoid a close quarter situation with another vessel forward of a beam shall reduce now pay attention guys shall reduce her speed to minimum at which she can be kept on her course now these words are important that she should be re reduce her way to a speed which is minimum at which she can be maintained which at which she can maintain her course she shall if necessary take all her way off now remember the word the word is take all her way off and in any event navigate with extreme caution until danger of collision is over now the key words here is reduce her speed to maintain her course or take all her way off now guys what the rule does not say but we end up interpreting is go stern no it the rule does not say go stern you can use the engines in stern direction to take all her way off but it does not say that your direction should go stern that means you the vessel should not go stern but you can use the stern movement to stop the ship to take all her way off earlier you are well within your rights to do that reducing your speed maybe you are full ahead coming too slow or dead slow that is okay but even if you go stern that is allowed but stern movement is allowed to take all her way off take all her way off means stop her it does not say go a stern means a stern direction but you can use your engines as a stern propulsion to as a mean to stop the vessel early that is allowed but what is it it wants you from doing is that when possibly if if it is possible maintain her at a minimum speed at which she can maintain her course why minimum speed is required for steerage if i stop your engines completely even if you are uh making a headway you may not be able to maintain the course that's why it says minimum speed that means the propeller is required for you for the rudder to be effective so it says that try and maintain your speed i'll come back why maintaining the course is so important and why it does not tell you go stern because ideally if there is a vessel ahead of my beam if i start going stern i'm increasing the distance then why does the rule says that do not go stern it says take all her way off and talks about minimum steerage minimum speed to maintain her course the answer lies the secret lies in the w o a triangle how to show you guys that's the problem okay i'll try and draw it for you the w o a triangle here i am in the center oops and please don't mind my drawing skills they are not the best i am in the center now remember i am in the center of the screen i now i told you this guys that the easiest way to remember a w o triangle is when you plot the first echo you are like oh matlab kya aaya bhai so the first echo when we plot is always the o i look at it and i say oh like kya aa gaya or to ensure that the line is a straight we take minimum three plottings fir aapne second plot liya and then you plot the final plot which we say ah that means this is the one aap hain so the first is always called o and the second is called a and how to remember is o and the a okay so aapka w o a triangle ready ho gaya now imagine i make a very simple triangle for you guys remember direction is always from w this is the triangle now way w o is way of one yani ye aapka course of speed hai ye w a hai yani way of another yani ye jaha jaise ja raha hai aap aise ja rahe hain और जो ये ओ है ये आपकी रिलेटिव अप्रोच है यानी आप दोनों अप्रोच कैसे कर रहे हैं ये आपका कंडीशन है आप ऐसे जा रहे हैं जीरो 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 टेन नॉट्स ये ऐसे आ रहा है टू सेवन जीरो नाइन नॉट पर जब आप रिलेटिवली अप्रोच कर रहे हैं तो ये अप्रोच है आपकी और ये डिटरमाइन करेगा कि जहाज कितने दूरी से निकलेगा या ऐसे निकलेगा या ऐसे निकलेगा आप समझ रहे हैं तो ये जो अप्रोच है ओ ए ये डिपेंड कर रही है मेरे कोर्स पे मेरे स्पीड पे सामने वाले के कोर्स पे सामने वाले की स्पीड पे अब फर्ज कीजिए अगर आपने इसमें कोर्स ऑर्डर कर दिया तो यानी जो आपका डब्ल्यू ओ है वे ऑफ ओन 
वो चेंज हो जाएगा या तो पोर्ट आ जाएगा या स्टाफ बोर्ड आ जाएगा अगर सामने वाले ने अपना कोर्स स्पीड चेंज करा तो या तो इधर चला जाएगा इधर चला जाएगा पर अगर आपने स्पीड चेंज करी तो क्या होगा आपका अप्रोच सेम रहेगा डायरेक्शन ऑफ अप्रोच बट सीपीए बढ़ जाएगा कैसे अभी ये आपका डिस्टेंस था आप हम सबको पता है अगर हम लाइन एक्सटेंड कर देंगे ओ का तो दिस गिव सीपीए टू अस नाइनटी डिग्री ये हमारा सीपीए होता है जनरली नाइनटी डिग्री ये डिस्टेंस हमारा सीपीए होता है डब्ल्यू ओ ट्राइंगल में नो वॉट हैपन्स इफ आई रिड्यूस माई स्पीड वे ऑफ ओन ये हमारा स्पीड था दिस इज आर स्पीड डब्ल्यू ओ का लेंथ हमारा स्पीड है नो वॉट हैपन्स इफ आई जस्ट रिड्यूस द स्पीड एंड आई एम स्टिल मेंटेनिंग द सेम डायरेक्शन रिड्यूसिंग द स्पीड मीन्स माई रिलेटिव अप्रोच स्टिल स्टेज द सेम यानी अगर मैंने डब्ल्यू ओ को चेंज नहीं करा तो मेरा जो रिलेटिव अप्रोच है रिलेटिव अप्रोच इन स्पेशली इफ समी एल्स इज प्लॉटिंग आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट अ सिचुएशन वेर अदर पर्सन इज ऑल्सो कंफ्यूज आई एम ऑल्सो कंफ्यूज आई हैव डिटरमाइंड समवेर इज फॉरवर्ड ऑफ माई बीम आई कैन नॉट अवॉइड रिस्क ऑफ कोलिजन इफ आई डोंट डू नथिंग एज पर रूल नाइनटीन एवरीबडी सपोज टू टेक एक्शन इधर गो पोर्ट और स्टार बोर्ड और रिड्यूस स्पीड सो इफ आई डोंट डू एनीथिंग दिस प्लॉट विल स्टिल बी एप्लीकेबल द ओनली थिंग इज द सिचुएशन माइट टेक अ लिटिल बिट मोर ऑल्ट्रेशन फ्रॉम हिज एंड so if i even if i don't do anything the plot of the other vessel stays intact which was monitoring me earlier which has been able to plot me but what happens if i go stern the problem is my relative approach is gone for a toss ab mera w o bacha hi nahi ab mera kyunki main stern chala gaya to mera o idhar aa gaya that means फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वॉज नॉट एबल टू डिटरमाइन कि सामने वाला जहाज कहा है अब मैंने उसका प्लॉट भी खराब कर दिया ही वॉज प्लॉटिंग मी ही वॉज ऑल्सो ट्रैकिंग मी बाई गोइंग स्टर्न मीन्स स्टर्न वे इट्स लाइक यू हैव चेंज योर कोर्स बाई वन एट्टी डिग्रीज इट्स एज गुड एज दैट यू आर गोइंग स्टर्न सो इवन हिस प्लॉट हैज गॉट नो मीनिंग नाउ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द डेज वन द रिडास वर नॉट एबल टू प्लॉट यूर गिव यू द आर पा इन्फॉर्मेशन सो दैट इज वॉट दैट इज वाई दे क्राफ्टेड एंड दे इनकॉपरेटेड दिस सिचुएशन एंड दे कैप्ट इट एज अ रूल दैट By going stern, you are spoiling his plot as well. Even if you don't do nothing, if he has plotted you, his plot he will take action as per his plotting, not your plotting. And once you go stern, his plot has got no meaning. So first of all, he is not able to determine you. Now he has lost you completely. That's why they say that maintain minimum steerage way so that the relative approach stays the same. But by reducing speed, but why it says take all your way off? Because if you reduce the speed, eventually the CPA will increase. Though the relative approach, कि अगर वो आपके आगे से जा रहा है जाएगा ऐसी, but ये distance बढ़ जाएगा. आप देख रहे हो? अगर आपने स्पीड रिड्यूस कर दिया अप्रोच सेम रहा बट डिस्टेंस बढ़ गया सो दैट्स व्हाई इट सेज दैट मेंटेन मिनिमम स्टेरेज टू मेंटेन द कोर्स सो दैट उसका प्लॉट खराब ना हो एंड इफ एट ऑल रिक्वायर टेक ऑल हर वे ऑफ बट इट डज नॉट से गो स्टर्न और टेक योर इंजन स्टर्न यू कैन यूज द इंजन इन स्टर्न प्रोपोजन टू रिड्यूस द स्पीड क्विकली बट डू नॉट गो स्टर्न वे सो आई होप आई एम एबल टू मेक इट वेरी वेरी क्लियर टू यू सो इफ समी आस्क यू दैट इफ यू हैव टू टेक ऑल योर वे ऑफ कैन यू यूज इंजन स्टर्न यस यू कैन यूज योर इंजन इन स्टर्न प्रोपोजन बट वॉट इज सपोज टू बी अवॉइडेड इज एक्चुअली गोइंग स्टर्न वे वाई बिकॉज माई रिलेटिव अप्रोच विल नॉट चेंज ओनली दैट सी पी ए विल चेंज अब आप देख रहे हैं अगर ये जहाज आगे से मेरे जा रहा है मैंने स्पीड रिड्यूस करा पर कोर्स नहीं चेंज करा क्या होगा ये डिस्टेंस बढ़ जाएगा और स्पीड रिड्यूस करा तो और बढ़ जाएगा सो आई एम मेकिंग द एरर बट एरर ऑन द सेफर साइड बिकॉज हेयर इज अचुएशन वेर देर इज नो ऑप्शन आई एम नॉट एबल टू डिटरमाइन वेर इज ही एंड आई एम एज्यूमिंग ही इज नॉट एबल टू डिटरमाइन वेर आई एम देर इज फॉरवर्ड ऑफ द बीम मुझे कुछ सुनाई दे रहा है कुछ समझ में नहीं आ रहा है तो मैं रिड्यूस स्पीड करके दो चीज कर रहा हूँ एक तो एक्स्ट्रा टाइम टू फाइनली हो सकता है उस एक्स्ट्रा टाइम में आई एम एबल टू डिटरमाइन कहाँ से आ रहा है एक्को दिख जाए प्लस आई एम गिविंग गिविंग माई सेल्फ टू make to make the action or better take a better action and better appraise the situation plus i am giving other vessel also the time to understand where i am and take action accordingly and just by reducing the speed my approach is same ye aise hi jane wala hai but the distance badh ja raha hai but if i go a stern uska plot kharab ho ja raha hai agar wo plot mein mere ko piche jate hue dekhega he might say that the situation is already resolved i might not even require to take action so this is little under the layers but that is what all in all it means so i hope I am able to answer your rule of the road rule number nineteen queries properly, and in case I have not, you can ask me in the comment section, and I will be more than happy to answer anything which you have. But remember, rule number nineteen is under section three, not in sight of each other. But section one, that means from rule number four to ten, will still be applicable. Okay. 
what will not be applicable will be rules inside of each other that means if you are having a head on situation if you are having a crossing situation that is all gone because that is only applicable when you are and remember the, the key word is a power driven vessel is supposed to keep her engines for, ready for immediate maneuver but every vessel is supposed to maneuver that means if you are fishing vessel ram tug tow does not trawler you are supposed to maneuver at safe speed but who's supposed to keep engines on standby only a power driven vessel isme catch kya hai cbd because cbd is by inherent nature is a power driven vessel only a power driven vessel is allowed to show cbd lights agar aap definition padhenge to usme likha hua hai a power driven vessel which because of the nature of a draft so remember cbd ka dna cbd bhed ki khal mein bhediya hai cbd ko luxury hai sabki aisi taisi maarne ki but remember cbd is a power driven vessel so if you even if you are a cbd you are still a power driven vessel by the definition and you are still going to have your engines stand by other than that there is no other vessel which will qualify as a power driven vessel ram ke vessel mein ram ki definition of power driven vessel included nahi hai uh, nuc mein to ho hi nahi sakta tug and tow mein bhi nahi hai fishing mein bhi nahi hai trawlers mein bhi nahi hai but remember a power driven a, a cbd by inherent nature is also a power driven vessel and hence forth rule number 19 part b having the engine stand by is a requirement for that vessel as well so any power driven and only if you are a power driven vessel whether you are a cbd included you need to have your engines on stand by ready for immediate maneuver now where you can call it whatever you want to call it engine stand by ready ready for maneuver jo bhi oh thank you thank you thanks a lot uh, uh, captain shori means a lot your praises means a lot so that is the idea okay so power driven vessel yaad rakhna cbd sabse bed ki khal mein chupa bedia because this is the only vessel by definition jo ki chupa hua hai isliye rules ko hamesha ek ek word se padhna hai tabhi rule samajh mein aayega aur cbd dhoka de jayega agar aapne rule upar upar se padha because cbd end of the day by dna is power driven vessel so if you are a power driven vessel keep your engine keep your engine ready for immediate maneuver even if you are out at open sea rule bolta hai main nahi bolta theek hai ab iski practicality kya hai wo aapki marzi hai आप कितना कंप्लाई करना चाहेंगे बिकॉज द डे यू गेट स्टक इन सिचुएशन एब्सोल्यूट कंप्लायस इज द ओनली आंसर और एल्स एवरीथिंग एल्स देर विल बी अ मास्टर कार्ड ओके इफ देर इज एनी क्वेश्चन विच यू गाइज हैव रिगार्डिंग रूल्स ऑफ द रोड स्पेसिफिकली टू रूल नंबर 19 प्लीज फील फ्री टू थ्रो एट मी एनी अदर क्वेश्चन आई विल ट्राई एन आंसर इन नेक्स्ट टू मिनट्स देन आई विल रैप अप द लाइफ बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू कीप दिस लाइफ अ लिटल शॉर्ट बीसी के लिए लाइफ किसी दिन और कर लेंगे सो so की आप समझ गए एक ही सिचुएशन है जब आप पोर्ट में इजीली समझा सकते हैं अगर आप पोर्ट क्वार्टर में हैं क्यों बिकॉज पोर्ट क्वार्टर में अगर जहाज है और आप ओवरटेक कर रहे हैं ये जहाज ओवरटेक कर रहा है इसका स्पीड ज्यादा है इसका स्पीड कम है वेर इज ही गोइंग टू गो नॉट टू पोर्ट बिकॉज इज नॉट सपोज टू ऑटो कोस टू वर्ड्स ऑफ एसल अभी मर वाफ दी ये इधर जाएगा तो यू आर वेल विद इन यूर राइट टू गो पोर्ट एंड इनफैक्ट इट मेक्स मोर सेंस डोंट गो टू स्टॉप इट इज इट इज ओके कैन यू यस बट इट इज नॉट द बेस्ट वे टू रिजोल्व दिचुएशन बट इफ यू आर हेयर ओवरटेकिंग मोर स्पीड देन दिस then it's not the right answer can you yes you can but is it the best option no why is he going to go to starboard no is he going to port yes should you go to port avoid can you go to starboard yes so iske sath aaj ka live how will you determine risk of collision in rv if radar is inoperational well the rule number e is written exactly for the same reason if you hear any vessel forward of the beam द फॉक सिग्नल फॉक सिग्नल का रेंज uh, कितना है एज पर आर ओ आर टू माइल्स सो आपको दो माइल तो मिलेंगे ही मिलेंगे थियोरेटिकली डिपेंड्स ऑन विजिबिलिटी एंड सो मेनी अदर कंडीशन सो इन दैट केस यूल बी यूजिंग द साउंड सिग्नल अ वे टू डेटरमाइन एंड दैट इज वाई स्पेसिफिकली इन पार्ट ई इट सेज दैट एक्सेप्ट वेर इट हैज बिन डिटरमाइन दैट द रिस्क ऑफ कोलिजन डज नॉट एक्जिस्ट एवरी वेसल विच हियर्स एपेरेंटली फॉरवर्ड ऑफ अ बीम द फॉग सिग्नल ऑफ अनदर वेसल और विच कैन नॉट अवॉइड अ क्लोज क्वार्टर सिचुएशन विद अनदर वेसल फॉरवर्ड ऑफ अ बीम शेल रिड्यूस अर स्पीड टू मिनिमम दैट्स द ओनली वे बिकॉज आपको दिख तो हो सकता ही नहीं आप रिड्यूस विजिबिलिटी में आप कितना रिड्यूस है दैट डिपेंड्स ऑन हाउ बैड द विजिबिलिटी इज इट कैन बी रिड्यूस टू Three nautical miles. It can be reduced to one nautical mile, or it can be absolute zero. So, how will you determine in case radar is not operational? In practical world, if you have to talk about, you have to drop anchor. You cannot maneuver. 
but if the visibility is zero you must maneuver because there is no way you can determine the other target because you are not you will not see it even if it hits you visibility is zero if visibility is zero that means you cannot see nothing even outside the window so you will never be able to sight it but if it is one nautical mile you still have hope that you will be able to see it with some amount of leeway to maneuver so that's my answer if own vessel and vessel forward of the beam having same speed how this rule going to apply rule in that case even if there is same speed it depends how close you guys are already so it all depends whether the risk of collision exists in that condition or not now imagine these two vessels are very very close doing the same speed what are they going to do this is a beam this is a beam dono the other chale jayenge they are doing the same speed but still but if these vessels are at 10 nautical miles apart does the risk of collision exists if not you will not do nothing but if there is a risk of collision you will suffer it or reduce speed is case mein aap reduce speed bhi kar sakte hain always remember guys if you are in doubt reduce the speed even in an answer agar koi mujhe bolta hai mere aage se cross kar raha hai mujhe samajh mein nahi aa raha port jaun starboard jaun i'll reduce speed let a pass ahead of me so do answer ho sakte hain first is preferable like i said remember guys rule number 1 is applicable this is one situation why when there is a vessel a beam doing the same speed risk of collision exists i should not reduce speed i should prefer alternate to starboard or alternate to port why remember guys rule number 1 is still applicable rule number 1 uh, uh, sorry rule number 8 and section 2 is still applicable in any condition of visibility now what does it says alteration of course if sufficient sea room is available it should be a preferred option to bear to easy to easily resolve the situation सो इस केस में ऑल्ट्रेशन ऑफ कोर्स करके हम लोग जल्दी रिजोल्व कर सकते हैं स्पीड भी रिड्यूस करेंगे तो रिजोल्व होगा बट टाइम लगेगा सो दैट्स वाई यू विल प्रिफर ऑल्ट्रिंग कोर्स टू ओवर रिड्यूसिंग द स्पीड दैट्स वाई इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू ऑलवेज आंसर कीपिंग इन माइंड दट सेक्शन वन इज स्टिल एप्लीकेबल एंड दिस इज वन सिचुएशन यू आर डूइंग द सेम स्पीड रिस्क ऑफ कोलिजन एक्जिस्ट वॉट स्टॉप्स यू फ्रॉम रिड्यूसिंग द स्पीड और वाई रिड्यूसिंग द स्पीड इज नॉट प्रिफर्ड बिकॉज रूल नंबर एट सेज दैट इन इवेंट ऑफ वेर इज अ रिस्क ऑफ कोलिजन एक्शन ऑफ कोलिजन इफ सफिशियंट सी रूम इज अवेलेबल ऑल्ट्रेशन ऑफ कोर्स अलोन can resolve the situation much quickly and much easily so that's the answer if you are doing the same speed and if you are doing the same speed and opposite direction to to koi baat koi nahi we are talking about this but agar a right turn hai again you will still take action it all depends whether the risk of collision exists or not so you will ask the surveyor does the risk of collision exist because same speed mein bahut zaruri hai if he's 20 miles and she's a stern of me it won't make any difference the risk of collision does not exist so the key is to ask does the risk of collision exist kyunki situation hypothetical hai okay is there anything else you guys need to ask or should i wrap up the live good crash course tarun thanks for this you are welcome cap prab mere ko rule padhate hue bahut dar lagta hai reason being kai bar master mariners dekh rahe hote hain aur <coughs> everybody has a a sub their sleeve can you please make live session on each rule and guide me how to prepare i'll try guys every एवरी वन सिन आज बहुत मन था मेरा लाइफ करने का दैट्स वाई आई स्टार्टेड दिस लाइफ बहुत मन था आज रूल नाइनटीन पढ़ाने का बहुत मन था इसीलिए लेट हो गया अभी एक बजने जा रहा है यहाँ पर बट फिर भी आज ये लाइफ कर रहा हूँ बिकॉज आई वॉज रियली कीन टू फिनिश दिस रूल इफ देर इज एनी थिंग रिलेटेड टू रूल नंबर नाइनटीन आई स्टे बैक फॉर थर्टी सेकेंड्स एंड देन विल रैप अप द लाइव कॉन गाइज थ्रो सम जग नॉट फॉर रूल नंबर नाइनटीन कौन घुमाएगा मेरे को रूल नंबर नाइनटीन में कोई नहीं घुमाएगा रूल नंबर 19 सब प्लीज एक बार सारे रूल्स रिवाइज करा दो ना कैडेट माधव डेफिनेटली बॉय इफ आई गेट एनफ टाइम रियली गुड टीचिंग स्किल्स थैंक यू सी स्ट्रॉम आई ट्राई यार बट मेरे को टाइम नहीं मिलता मेरे को अपने लिए टाइम नहीं मिलता अभी मेरे को अभी डिनर भी करना है जाके अभी डिनर करना है फिर वापस जाके अपनी मेल्स चेक करनी है क्योंकि शाम से करी नहीं है कल इंटरव्यू है सर मुझे भी पढ़ा दो <laughs> यार यू यू ऑल विल गेट सम इंटरेस्टिंग नॉलेज थैंक्स अलॉट मरीनरी Thank you guys. I think that's it. Uh, I think I have answered pretty much most of your questions. Remember the key to rule of the road is reading them again, just like a song. आप किसी गाने को याद नहीं करते हैं. You never recite a song, but you always remember each song beat by beat, word by word, exactly how you do it. You keep listening to song, and the passive learning keeps taking place. Likewise, rule of the road को रटने की जरूरत नहीं है. Every time you will read the same rule, you will have a different meaning and a more detailed meaning to it. So the key. to learn rule of the road is start early do not leave them till last because they are ascertained they are sure to be there in your exam and if you make a single mistake your oral is over start the rule much earlier in time and read them daily keep going through them even if you are sure keep going they will create a memory in your mind just like 
a song and that's why these room these rules in my mind are like crystal clear क्रिस्टल क्लियर बिकॉज मैं क्रेडिट शिप्स एंड रूल्स को बार बार पढ़ता रहा एंड नाउ दे आर लाइक अ सॉन्ग जैसे हम लोग गुनगुनाते नहीं है वी नो एवरी बीट एवरी इंस्ट्रूमेंट कब कौन सा सॉन्ग कौन सा गाना कौन सा लव्स कौन सा मतलब कब आएगा दैट्स एग्जैक्टली वॉट यू नीड टू डू विद रूल्स ऑफ द रोड रीड दम वर्ड बाय वर्ड नेवर डू बबा 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 रीड दम वर्ड बाय वर्ड एंड कीप रीडिंग दम एंड ट्रस्ट मी यू वुड नेल दम एंड आई ऑलवेज रिकमेंड कॉकरॉफ्ट तो कॉकरॉफ्ट की कॉपी बगल में रखी एक लेटेस्ट एडिशन आ गया अमेजोन से ऑर्डर कर सकते हैं साढ़े चार सौ साढ़े तीन सौ रुपए का बुक है घर पे डिलीवरी हो जाएगी रोल्स ऑफ द रोड वहां से पढ़िए बहुत डिटेल में समझाया हुआ है और आई थिंक दैट शुड सफाइस एंड विद दोस्ट थॉट्स आई रेप ऑफ द लाइफ टूडे थैंक्स अलॉट फॉर ज्वाइनिंग इन सच ह्यूज नंबर्स <laughs> नहीं नहीं ऐसी बात नहीं है मरी नरेड आई नॉट द ओनली गाय देर आर मेनी अदर्स वॉर टीचिंग रूल्स ऑफ द रोड तो जो भी आपको पसंद है आप उसका जाके फॉलो करिए आइडिया यह है कि टू शेयर दिस and to learn one way or other and come up to the same standards which is and you see is undertaking pdv which one is stand by stand by those so they dekho jo is ladke ne prablesh ne question pucha na yahi aapko nahi karna hai the word stand by is only stand by or stand on or give way sirf crossing situation mein applicable hota hai and that too when two power driven vessels are involved even if there is one vessel which is not a power driven vessel crossing situation situation crossing hai but stand by and give away uh, uh, give away is not applicable that is why i tell you never read the rules the way he has read it nuc is uh, overtaking pdv if nuc is overtaking pdv she can do that and you are still supposed to take clear because nuc ka definition is exempted by the rules because of some exceptional circumstances she can do whatever she wants to do god knows what is happening on that vessel everybody is dead there is fire in engine room so nuc is exempted from the rules by the definition so if she is overtaking you are still supposed to take care but if you if i am in nuc mere pe ek rule tab bhi applicable hoga good seamanship if i can reduce speed i will try and keep my uh, speed to bare minimum but what if i am not able to that's not for you to think as a pdv if you are a pdv you see an nuc get the fuck out of her way okay it does not matter which rule and what applies because she is exempted from the rules so in this case you will take action and stay clear अब इसमें ये और बोल देना साथ में रिस्ट्रिक्टेड uh, विजिबिलिटी है और वो बिल्कुल राइट स्टर्न पे है सो दैट्स द आंसर दिस इज अ परफेक्ट एग्जांपल ऑफ नॉट रीडिंग द रूल्स वर्ड बाय वर्ड आप ऐसे ही कंफ्यूज होते रहेंगे अच्छा आप पर अगर एनयूसी ओवरटेक कर रहा है तो क्या होगा भाई गो बैक टू द डेफिनेशन इसीलिए रूल थ्री पहले आता है और रूल फिफ्टीन बाद में आता है क्रॉसिंग इसीलिए क्रॉसिंग को रूल वन नहीं बताया दे इज अ रीजन एनयूसी डेफिनेशन आर रूल थ्री एंड क्रॉसिंग इज रूल नंबर फिफ्टीन रीजन इज एक्जैक्टली दिस ओके that you read the definitions before you get engaged in the situations okay so do not get engaged in the situation till the time each and every definition is right here nuc is exempted from the rules power driven vessel is not how to learn fast ror abhi to bata re kitni bar same question puchega ror mein mat phasao main bhi phasa raunga tum bhi phase rahoge mujhe ror bahut pasand hai raat nikal jayegi baat nikal jayegi if we are overtaking a vessel in fog who give way hey bhagwan ror ke baad ye koi rule number 19 mein koi give way koi stand on nahi hota bhai everybody is supposed to take action aur abhi bataya tha rule number 19 part 1 will be applicable you there is a vessel forward of the beam and if you are overtaking it depends which side you are overtaking but you can alter either course to port or to starboard both are open live save kar dunga bhai dobara dekh liyo dobara se question mat puch can we discuss rule 34 35 swati bol rahi hai 34 35 tomorrow koi guarantee nahi hai sunday koshish karunga ek rule aur kara dun what is manchi ne pucha what is restricted visibility any condition where your visibility is restricted that means aap utna dur nahi dekh pa rahe jitna dekhna chahiye ठीक है योर विजिबिलिटी इज रेस्ट्रिक्टेड आई वुड से टिपिकली एनीथिंग लेस देन 4 माइल्स यू शुड बी केयरफुल यू शुड अज्यूम दैट इट्स अ रेस्ट्रिक्टेड विजिबिलिटी एंड आल्सो डिपेंड्स ऑन योर कंपनी पॉलिसी फ्यू कंपनीज दे हैव 3 माइल्स आर कट ऑफ सम फ्यू कंपनीज हैव 3.5 माइल्स सो इट आल्सो डिपेंड्स द नंबर डिपेंड्स ऑन योर कंपनीज एसएमएस नेक्स्ट टाइम बीएमपी 5 ओह यस बीएमपी 5 मेरे को बहुत पसंद है आई लव बीएमपी 5 बट यार वो बहुत बीसी है बोर हो जाएंगे सब रूल्स ऑफ द रोड थोड़ा चैलेंजिंग है क्वेश्चंस बहुत आते हैं इस पे मानसी थैंक्स अलॉट ओ मानसी ओके आई से हेलो टू कैप्टन सिद्धार्थ मोहाले आई कीप हियरिंग अबाउट हिम ग्रेट चैप एंड वेरी गुड व्यूज अबाउट हिम इन द ऑफिस सो आई थिंक विद दोज थॉट्स वी कैन रैप अप द लाइफ टुडे या और कोई जगह नॉट छोड़ना एक कोई डिफिकल्ट सा क्वेश्चन पूछ लो गिरा दो मेरे को चित्त कर दो कम ऑन प्लीज एक्सप्लेन अबाउट शोर लीव रूल नंबर नाइनटीन में कोई है जो गिराए आज लगता है कोई नहीं आएगा 
with those thoughts thanks a lot for showing so much of the love on the reels and leaving your lovely lovely comments and so much of the love agar kisi ka comment galti se miss ho gaya ho i'm really sorry dm pe main available nahi rehta aajkal kyunki time nahi rehta sirf time itna rehta hai ki aake apni story dalu aur bhag jaun sir one vessel one point on port and starboard bow coming down risk of collision exists how to determine head on or crossing bike in line or nearly in line there is no word the word is in line or nearly in line okay so if he is nearly in line you will assume it depends aap kaun sa vessel rakha hai iske upar hum fir se kisi din baat karenge bahut interesting question hai ki kya assume karna chahiye i will assume it to be overtaking because overtaking mein dono jahazon ko action lena hi lena hota hai so both should assume it's an overtaking situation when nearly in line why because it will end up resolving the situation you are trying to resolve the situation guys so but if you start assuming it, it, that i am a crossing from port then one of the vessel will assume that i don't have to take action so in in a case where a vessel is fine on your port bow or starboard bow whether it is 1 point or 1.5 points or 2 points you can assume it to be a overtaking situation why because it better best results why because both will assume responsibility and both will go starboard okay that's why you should assume that it's a head on situation it's a better way to resolve the situation once you assume that it's a crossing situation then one will say okay i am a stand on the other will say okay i am crossing the other will say okay i am not a stand on so on and so forth so in this condition assume that it's a head on situation and if both assumes it's a head on situation both will alter so that means problem solved and you see overtaking ram by definition padho and you see is not supposed to take care and you see is not supposed to abide by any of the rule ram will keep clear because ram is restricted in her ability to maneuver but still she is supposed to comply with the rules she is restricted in her ability to maneuver and helps fully comply by the requirements of these rules but nuc is not under command means command hi nahi hai bhai kahi bhi ja sakta hai haathi ki sound hai kahi bhi nikal jayega nuc se koi panga nahi le sakta seedha sa rule hai ram forward are yaar tss wagera bhi le aaya yaar ram forward of the uh, of the uh, tss action ram forward of the in tss fishing vessel भाई क्वेश्चन तो साफ साफ लिख लिया करो इज इट ऑलरेडी नॉट अंडर कमांड ऑलरेडी इट इज ऑलरेडी नॉट अंडर कमांड ऑलरेडी भाई क्वेश्चन भी इतनी जल्दी जल्दी लिखते हो नहीं है समझ में आया क्वेश्चन ही समझ में नहीं है सर इज देर आर ऑटो कैड एंड सॉलिड वर्क आर इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर मरीन ऑटो कैड तो बहुत हाई फाई हो जाएगा यार मरीनर्स के लिए अगर आता है तो बहुत अच्छी बात है बट मरीनर्स एंटेन आर नॉट इन टू डिजाइनिंग एंड यू आर नॉट इन टू शिप यार्ड ऑटो कैड हमारे लेवल से बहुत ऊपर है हम लोग एक्सेल और माइक्रोसॉफ्ट सीख जाए बहुत बड़ी बात है हम लोग आउटलुक में अटैचमेंट लगा के हीरो बन जाते हैं सी स्टॉम नो योर वेलकम वेलकम फॉर योर क्वेश्चन बट आई आई डेंट गेट योर क्वेश्चन प्रॉपरली तो थोड़ा सा आप अगर डिटेल में लिखते तो मैं आंसर कर पाता मैं इसमें भी आंसर कर देता ऐसी कोई बात नहीं है बट मैं क्वेश्चन ही नहीं समझ पाया मेरे ऊपर से निकल गया चलो दारू पीते हैं चलो भाई मैं भी खत्म करता हूँ थैंक्स लॉट फॉर जॉइनिंग द लाइफ एंड ऑल यू लव एंड सपोर्ट कीप सपोर्टिंग द पेज यूज द हैश टैग कैप्टन अंडर स्कोर सेंस अगर पेज पसंद आया हो अगर वीडियो पसंद आया हो तो शेयर कर दीजिएगा कॉमेंट कर दीजिएगा बता दीजिएगा क्या फीडबैक है आज रूल नंबर नाइनटीन का कोई और सिचुएशन हो तो आई थिंक ये लाइव देख के आप उसको रिजोल्व कर पाएंगे विद दो थॉट स्टे सेफ डू वट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू डू मैन बट डू नॉट ट्रबल योर मदर एंड भारत माता मैन एंड आई विल सी यू ऑन माई नेक्स्ट